how's it guys today's video will be about liquidity concept we are going to define liquidity discuss the different types of liquidity and show how you can incorporate them into your trading welcome back to another video but before going further please subscribe like and share this video with your friends and family guys so just like always we will look at the theory part first and then hop into the market and look at a few examples right so when you're trading the liquidity concept is that first thing that you need to know is what is liquidity so what is liquidity liquidity in its simple terms means a collection of orders in the market that allows transaction to occur meaning buying and selling transaction so in order for you to buy or to sell you need liquidity so whenever you are buying you're injecting liquidity into the market whenever you are selling you're injecting liquidity into the market so in order for the market to move there must be liquidity in the market because the market will move from one liquidity to the to the other so the market moves from liquidity to liquidity so the market will move from buy side liquidity to sell side liquidity whether from internal liquidity to external liquidity or from external liquidity to internal liquidity that's how it moves so that's that's liquidity okay so now that we understand what liquidity is what are the types of liquidity that we have in the market so we have three types of liquidity in the market which are one the structural liquidity two the buy side liquidity three and the sell side liquidity those are the only three major liquidity that are in the market the other forms of liquidity are also for also form part of this so the, those are subsidiaries of these types of liquidity like your trend line liquidity or your internal liquidity or your external liquidity they form part of either the structural the buy side or the sell side liquidity so now let's decode the three types of liquidity singular starting with the structural liquidity with a bullish example so if you look at your screen here you, you realize that we have a bullish model why is it a bullish model because you have the market making a series of higher highs and higher lows so this is a high high this is a higher low so the market is making higher highs and higher lows that means we have a bullish structure so where is our liquidity below every swing low or above every swing high we have what is known as liquidity so now because you know that we are in a bullish market every swing high here will act as our structural liquidity but structural liquidity means that liquidity must be found from both sides of the market so the structural liquidity includes both the buy side and the sell side liquidity so below every low we have yeah structural liquidity and above every high we have a structural liquidity and the structural highs are the ones that are acting as draw on liquidity because we are expecting the market to go up if the market is keeps on making high highs and higher lows so this low this high was taken here so liquidity was taken by this candle so liquidity from this high was taken by this candle so for us to see the, the market turning and taking the sell side liquidity we have to see something like the market coming here then failing to make a higher high then breaking this low to the downside then giving us our entry here that's when you take the entry either at the level gap or whatever entry trigger that you use so that's how you know that the market is now going to attack the structural liquidity to the downside so that is what structural liquidity is it's a liquidity that is incorporated in a structural movement that is going a certain direction number two and number three are going to be discussed together because they form part of the same thing so we have buy side liquidity and sell side liquidity buy side liquidity is our, is our number two and sell side liquidity is our, is our number three so what is a buy side liquidity buy side liquidity means that whenever you see the market that is in a consolidation form like the marketing movie is moving sideways it's not making higher highs or lower lows the market is making similar highs or relative similar highs so whenever you see this high see just know that above this high here there are tons of liquidity here so why do we have liquidity above this high because whenever the market comes here retail traders see this as a resistance so they see this as a resistance that is going to keep the market below this highs so they buy they sell their market here and they had their stop loss above here so whenever the whenever the market comes and retest this line they say this is their resistant line is their ceiling so the market cannot pass here so they buy they keep on buying and keeping their stop loss above here stop loss above here so whenever we see this we know that above this relative equal high we have a ton of liquidity here similar with the sell side liquidity whenever the market is in a range that means it's in a consolidation the market is not making higher highs or higher lows the market is making similar lows or relative similar lows we know that down here we have what is known as our sell side liquidity why because retail traders see this as our support or as their support as because i'm not trading retail i'm not trading retail concept i don't see this as support but they see this as their support so whenever the market bounces here they expect the market to push up above here so they keep on buying here because they expect this 
price above this line right so that's liquidity so whenever the market is building up liquidity on the both side you have to expect the market to take liquidity on both sides before going into the direction that it was going so let's say on a higher time frame we are bullish now we know that when we are bullish on a higher time frame the market has to take out the sell side liquidity first before it takes out the buy side it has to take out the buy side liquidity first before it take out the sell side liquidity so you see the market takes out the buy side liquidity and comes and take out the sell side liquidity so okay guys those are our three types of liquidity which is our structural liquidity the buy side liquidity the sell side liquidity structural liquidity is based on structure then when the, whether the market is bullish or bearish the structure will determine which liquidity is being taken so our buy side liquidity is liquidity that are found at every high or swing high that is found in the market everything high is either our buy side liquidity or intermediary buy side liquidity and every low access our sell side liquidity okay guys now that you understand the theory part of this concept let's go to the market and look at a few examples the first example that we are going to use is one nasdaq 100 mini features on the daily time frame so if you look at your screen you realize that on the daily time frame we have a bullish market why do we have a bullish market because the market is making a series of higher highs and higher lows high high higher higher low high high higher low so this high up here acts as our structural liquidity because they form part of this structural movement to the upside so this becomes our buy side liquidity so whenever the market is done taking out buy side liquidity the market will move down and attack this outside liquidity as it is doing now so that is the structural liquidity the market this highs xx hour draw on liquidity which keeps the market going up until we see a break of structure to the downside here so now we can confirm that now the, the market is ready to attack the sell side liquidity whenever it closes below this low for buy side and sell side liquidity we are going to use the s p 500 e mini features on the 15 minutes time frame. so if you can see at your screen here we have this consolidation here why is it the consolidation the consolidation because our range is from this high to this low so this is our range whenever the market is not making a high high here or it's not making a lower low here and it's trading in between this range that's when we are saying the market is in a range is it's in a consolidation so this high and this high and this high here the act as relative equal highs which means that we have liquidity up here so this becomes our liquidity liquidity is found in every high so above this high we have buy side liquidity above this high we have buy side liquidity above this high we have buy side liquidity which was taken here and is inverse with the sell side liquidity above every low we have sell side liquidity above every below every low we have sell side liquidity so down here we have our sell side liquidity which resides down here so every low is our sell side liquidity every high is our buy side liquidity there is this conception that people say that fair gaps consist of liquidity but there is no liquidity at fair gap fair gap means there is an imbalance the market was inefficient so there, it's not liquidity it's an inefficient price okay so that's the end of the video guys so if you have enjoyed this video please subscribe like and comment on this video how you can make it better peace out